I'll just leave a bad book. Alright, second location coming up. Let's turn on the game. Boom! Jump puzzle number two! I actually had to reclimb these because I did it on Aether first and also did it on Crystal because uh, someone's from Crystal. I actually had to redo all of these. <laughs> See, every uh, prepared jump puzzle I did twice. So <laughs> wow, big fan. Alright, count down soon. Count down. Incoming. Incoming. Three. Two. One. Uh, Alright, I gotta set the timer. <laughs> Alright, let's see how, let's see if I can even see from here. Oh, this is more visible, there we go. Oh you can see everyone, yeah, let's go. <laughs> you can see a trail. <laughs> this is kinda hype actually. Hello everyone, this is June. Today's video is something a bit special. You might have seen it linked around by friends and on socials. Currently, FF14 is doing a collaboration with the Boba Tea Store Gongcha where you can get exclusive keychains and a limited edition in-game mount for drinking some of their boba. Square Enix was kind enough to provide some mount codes I could share with our people. Big thanks to them! Rather than using the codes to do a simple raffle to drive traffic to my social accounts with the new expansion out, I figured, why not do something a little more fun and memorable? A big part of Dawn Trail's narrative is the Rite of Succession, where the contestants use their strengths and wits to compete for the title of Dawn Servant. In the same spirit, I decided let's hold a friendly competition where people can play for their mount codes. I present to you the first ever Jumbob, <laughs> Jumbob Grand Prix Jump Puzzle Contest. Here's how it went down. Enjoy. Yeah, let's uh, start with the the basics here. So, don't try across all fancy fourteen. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> so chances are, you know, if you're playing the game and been following it, some of you have already been doing this, right? Some people people already went to Gongsha, so this is not new news. But for people that haven't done this yet, this is kind of how the this is the actual rundown of the bit. So fourteen has teamed up with Gongsha for a special collaboration featuring fourteen themed menu items. So Cream's drinks include the Fat Cap Perfect Latte. Crab Chocolate was flying smoothie and cactar matcha latte. So from what I've been told from actual Gongcha goers, these are not specifically new menu items, they're reskinned items that already exist in Gongcha. They're just kinda of like dressed up with the cups. It's just like FYI. Is it raining? Holy crap, it's like not raining today. From now through August 28th, participating franchise stores will have these drinks. Anyone who purchases any three Gongcha drinks in one transaction will be able to receive a Porksy King mount for 14. If you're familiar with the Pixie Beast Tribe, that's the, the same, it's the same thing. It's actually the same model. It has the same uh, mount attachment. It does like a suck in, I think. It does like a snort suck in or something. Uh, the differences with this reskin is that the saddle is green instead of red, and you have a little pink crown. So that's the unique part. My suggestion, or my thing I wish they would do next time for an event like this, is that. Uh, I think it'd be really cool if they matched the mount character with the keychains because they the, the pig's not featured in the keychains at all and the, the characters in the keychains are on the mount either so I wish they could do either or, right? Like, they match it People are completely fine with recolors in this case I was saying in the Discord chat earlier like maybe if they did like a green fat cat and just did a matcha cat I think that people would be more than happy, right? But people like the fat cat The drinks purchased do not have to be the 14 themed drinks Participating franchise stores also have limited themed keychains available for purchase. Some stores might tell you to get the special drink, you actually don't have to. But you might have to just kind of follow when in Rome, because it's kind of, I feel like all the stores are doing something different. Uh, I went to a couple and they were all different and based on what Twitter was posting, everyone kind of had different experiences based on like the, the worker and the branch she had. So. I don't normally drink boba, but I did want to show off the keychain on streams. So I did go to Dongcha and get one. I did get myself one. Is that kind of focus? So it's a good size. It's pretty small, right? It's pretty small. Like My phone's like this. It's about this big. Right. So you shake it. There's like little, little boba bubbles in there. Right? You can see them. Right. They have three colors, three illustrations. They have the chocobo, the fat chocobo, and also the... What was the other one? I forget what the other one was. Something very 14. Moogle, that's right, Moogle, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. By the time I got there, 
it was getting pretty uh, limited in supply. I got there around like 3 p.m. Some people went there as early as opening. So depending on where when you went and where you went might be different. So for example, uh, so I went to the city. I was like, hey, I'm for the I'm here for the 14 event collab. I'm, it was just me, right? So like, if there was a line behind me, my plan was to maybe like treat the two people behind me with like drinks, but it was just me in line. So I was like, uh, so I'll pay for the three drinks. You know, I don't want to make give you more work than necessary. So you just make me one drink. You know, I'll just I'll just drink the one I want to drink. The other two I'll pay for. You don't have to make it. You know, it's like no hassle, no waste of food. Uh, is that okay? And she's like, oh my god, I would feel so bad. Is that, are you sure? I would feel so bad. Like you're paying for all three. I'm like, I'm fine. But she was like, you know what? You could just pay for pay for two. But it's like, are you sure you just want to drink? Want one drink? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. So, like, so, so I ended up getting a keychain for just the price of two drinks. But I did tip very well. Uh, in, in, in return, I tipped super well. So you, your mileage might vary, right? Some stores I saw on Twitter that uh, some people had to pay for the, the all three special drinks. Or uh, another thing I should uh, re reiterate uh, is like, they're probably abundant with codes, but these are... So, you know, they keep saying it, right? They're limited in supply. I don't know if they can restock or what. So if you are going for this, I would say go get it sooner rather than later. Because there's a chance these will run out. Oh, it actually is raining. Oh, shit. Okay. Don't be surprised if the stream randomly goes out or something. TLDR, get three drinks, and then pick a keychain or a mount code. If you, if you got some Riz, you, whoa! If you got a Riz game going, you might not need to pay the full price. <laughs> Riz and or nice cashiers. Yeah, big rain. Oh, it's lightning too, oh shit. <laughs> Great timing. Alright, so what are we doing today? Game Ghost is a Jubade. We got lovely Solan, right? Standing here. In her summer clothes. It's a very particular spot. <laughs> if you haven't been here yet, this is the summit to one of the jump puzzles in Tulio L. <laughs> to reiterate, we're, we're a channel that actually plays the game. We're not gonna do no raffle. We're gonna actually play the game, but we're gonna do a little jump puzzle race. So if you're interested in winning a mount code, come to Dynamis Golem, Dynamis uh, Data Center Golem server. Well, I'll, I'll give you more instructions. We'll start once uh, people are rounded up. So if you're interested, start heading over here. So I'm gonna let people round up for about like five, ten minutes. So everyone that wants to do it, give them a fair chance. So a couple of rules here. So we're gonna start down here. Uh, rule is if you want to be eligible for the mount, you don't you don't have to follow, but I want you to be in the chat at least. Because what I'm gonna do is like once you reach here, I'm gonna ask you to uh, reveal your name in the chat so I can DM you via Twitch. Part of the challenge will be figuring out how to even get up here because this one actually has multiple uh, starting points and multiple paths. So. The first one to come up here and slash poke cute little celeb slash poker, that's you're the winner. No restrictions on job or mobility. That's up to you. If you got ninja, you know, if you got a marriage teleport, whatever, you go go ham. <laughs> DDoS. If you if you have DDoS capabilities, go for it. <laughs> if you have that power, I won't stop you. If you're willing to DDoS someone for a big mount, go for it. <laughs> but yeah, any job you want to play, you could be ninja, you can use Peloton, you know, like if you can DDoS, you can. <laughs> There's more races. There's like there'll be two more after this. So if you don't win this one, you have two more chances. <laughs> uh, another thing to note is that you you are only eligible one per account. You're free to race and join it just for fun. But uh, if you do win, uh, please refrain from claiming it and give it to the, the next person. And that goes for the subsequent races too. If you win this race, you can participate in the next race for fun. But you're not gonna get three codes. This is an easy climb. This is the easiest of the jump puzzles tonight. So this should be like your easiest chance. As the, the as the races go on, they get harder and harder. <laughs> you know, honor code here, you know, don't early start. As long as you're hugging the aether right, I think that's fair game. I don't see what's going on down there. So if you if whoever wants whoever's down there wants to regulate, okay, but hey, yeah, rookie's cheating. All right, let's go. Here we go. This is the countdown. Three, two, one. Uh, all right, best of luck. <laughs> all right, timer two. Shit, timer. Boom. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh damn, they're already here. Oh okay, okay, okay. All right. Oh okay. I might need to back up. All right, let me back up. Let me, let me position. Oh shit. Oh apple. No contest. Oh on a Oh shit. Let's go. Nice <laughs> day. All right. <laughs> Good shit. Congrats, apple. Yeah. 
So technically, I started the timer about like 20 some seconds late, but that's still pretty fast, like one, one and a half, one minute and a half, maybe? Out of curiosity, how many people have already done this uh, jump puzzle? How many people are actually experiencing this jump puzzle? You have? Okay. Surprisingly, I have. Alright, alright. Let's do the next one. Alright, let me switch my screen for a second. This one, that, the, the one they just did wasn't hard. This one is a, a little bit harder, but not as hard as Kugani Tower. Second location coming up. Boom. Jump puzzle number two. Starting line will be this eighth right, I guess. Right plume post. I actually had to reclimb these because I did it on Aether first and also did it on Crystal because uh, someone's from Crystal. I actually had to redo all of these. <laughs> I realized, oh shit, they can't come here. <laughs> so every every uh, prepar prepared jump puzzle I did twice. <laughs> wow, big fan. Alright, count down soon. Count down. Incoming. Incoming. Three. Two. One. Uh, Alright, now I gotta set the timer. <laughs> Alright, let's see how let's see if I can even see from here. Oh, this is more visible. There we go. Oh you can see everyone. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you can see a trail. <laughs> this is kinda hype actually. Oh, someone's getting close. Who's that? Who that? Oh, who that? Oh, 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 Vulcan? Oh, Vulcan gonna redeem himself? Let's go! Nice Congrats! Congrats to Target. And yeah, that was fast! Ground servant number two, yeah! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, don't, don't, don't be in despair, guys. There's one more, one more chance. We got the big one left. Damn, you guys are fast though. Everyone's uh, pretty good at these. That's right, third one. For OG watchers of this channel, this might be a, a nice cameo. This character has not made an appearance for a very long time. So this might be a, a welcome sight to certain people. <laughs> Mainly because she doesn't have access to uh, <laughs> Tom Trill at all. <laughs> so it worked out, it worked out. This is the only one she could prepare for. Okay. Newer people might not be familiar with this character, but this is the OG ult. This is the ult that existed before uh, Solem. This is a Renee Har Oh, <laughs> this is a Renee Harlan. This is the Highlander. So Highlander. She's the OG best girl. So, Kugane Tower, you know the deal. Let's say the starting line. Instance. So this is Dynamis still. Instance is uh, there's no instance. Okay. No instance. So one last one last chance to get the uh, bound code. This one's actually harder, for sure, compared to the other two. Longer too. This is if the other two if the first one was an EX trial, the second one was kind of like a savage fight, this is more like an ultimate length. <laughs> this one has some troll jumps, because if you fail, you get you go all the way to the bottom. They just happen to have the, 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 the hardest jumps on like the outside, where you are forced to jump to the outside and you miss it. I wish I had one more mount code, because if I had one more mount code, I'd be like, anyone that lands on the lamppost, I'll give you the mount code. <laughs> I, this is the last one that I have though, unfortunately. So, so this one also I did on- so she's on Primal originally, so me being the idiot, prepared this on Primal, and I was like, wait, I gotta go to Dynamis. <laughs> so I did this again too, I did this twice too. So. Alright, get ready. Get your W keys ready. There we go, so come and count down. 3, 2, 1, go! Alright, best of luck everyone. Final one. One more code. We'll do it again, like. Oh, I see I see someone's head moving. Oh, someone closer? I saw someone just now. Oh! That's all again? Well you can't get a code, that's all. <laughs> Yeah, you just you just flexing. You just flexing. Yeah, just just for just for uh, record keeping sake, we'll just say Ethel 211, 211. Okay, congrats, man. <laughs> you just flexing. Just flexing. <laughs> oh, is it OC? Is it gonna be OC? Is it gonna be OC? Oh, I think it's OC. 
Oh, you better. You see, you better hurry. Someone's coming. <laughs> okay, nice. Nice play. Nice, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Shout out. Congrats to. The entirety of Dynamics is gonna see this. Congrats to the Dynamics. <laughs> well, so I wish I had more codes. If I had more codes, I would get like first place, second place or something, but. Unfortunately, my codes are limited, so. Man, thanks again for uh, everyone participating. That was really cool. It's good to see a bunch of people participate. That was awesome. I wasn't sure what the turnout was gonna be like. A Highlander best best. I mean, I I, I kind of grew to like ours more lately, but Highlander is the OG triple S tier race for me. So, so yeah. So thank, thanks again for everyone coming. Really made it happen. Like, I'll try to do more stuff like this as much as possible as the opportunities arise. <laughs> Alright, say goodbye to Renee. <laughs> so you're better than her. She's gonna go back to cold sleep. <laughs>